And yeah guys, I realized lately that tons of people don't know how to overclock their GPU and since so many people ask me on the latest live stream on my Discord, wherever, link by the way in the description, please don't forget to enter, thank you, thank you, thank you, 1.2k members right now, crazy, crazy stuff. And yeah, today I'm going to show you how you can literally overclock your GPU with zero knowledge. Trust me guys, I also don't know everything out of my head, so therefore I found a program which will actually automatically overclock your GPU for you. You gotta have zero knowledge and it's super easy guys and it can't harm your PC, you won't damage anything and for any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, the program I'm going to talk about in today's video is called MSI Afterburner, which is a really known program for overclocking your GPU and they just added a new feature where this program will auto overclock your GPU. You gotta have zero knowledge and I'm just gonna show you real quick here in the web browser how it looks like. You just gotta go on the official site, MSI Afterburner, just simply go on Google, type it in and this is the first link which pops up and then just simply download this program. This is how it looks like, just simply go here on the download button, install it and after that it should be like somewhere here on your PC. For me, I just put it here into a folder because I also use this extra tool here, which is called Reva Tuner. Statics I use for um, benchmarks. You know, you can also do that here with this program. And afterwards, just launch it simply here, MSI Afterburner, as you can see. And this new window here is gonna pop up. And what you can see here right now in this window is you're gonna see your megahertz of your GPU, your memory hertz, um, the temperature, the fan speed, literally everything. You can see as well which GPU you have. For me, it's a GeForce RTX 2070 gigabyte OC. And what you guys need to do now is simply go here on the left side and you see like um, this little C here, just simply click on it. And now you see the overclocking scanner. And what you guys wanna do is press scan. I won't do it right now because I already did it and it can literally take up to half an hour guys. So don't be worried if it takes a little bit longer, it's just gonna do like a stress test and find for you like the best megahertz you can go up on your, um, on your graphics card to boost it the best way possible. And I already did it yesterday, so I'm not gonna do it right now. All you guys literally gotta do is press scan and here's gonna be like a small percentage which is gonna go up and just let it run through. And afterwards, when we hear right now here back in this menu, you can see the core clock and here it says curve. This is like the new curve you kind of like um, inspected here with this program, you know. So just simply press curve and you can see that it automatically applies now an overclock of 200 megahertz on my memory clock, which is probably the best or the maximum I should go to have still like uh, reasonable temperatures, like 53 um, 53 how do you how do you say it in America? I know you you're calculating with Fahrenheit or something, but yeah 54 um, Celsius This is completely fine and it will just simply automatically apply it for you All you guys gotta do is simply here press um, curve and it's gonna auto apply You can also go in the curve editor and there you can see everything here It tried to apply you know it, it went like up always like a few megahertz until it found the best one which is 2000 and this is exactly uh, what you want to. You wanna have like a straight line here. This is like the most stable overclock you can get. Just simply um, close it and press on curve here and it's gonna auto overclock it. All you guys need to do then is just simply here, um, press save. And as you can see, it's gonna save here or apply as well. You gotta press like the first time, the first time you do it, you gotta press apply and then just simply save. And you can close this program and your GPU is successfully overclocked. And I hope this video actually helped you out guys. I try to keep it as short and informative as possible. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.